right, he goes, I'm back, and I am ready to go to hell and- Oh, say hello to get more- There you go, 300 more hexagons. Hey, nice. Let's go to biome teleportation. I don't know where in the ocean it was that we were previously. I guess I'll just go somewhere random, I don't know. Uh, I guess south? To teleport. Let's go there. Uh, let me make sure- Okay, so yeah, we do have the scuba mask right there, so we can see a little bit easier underwater, so that's gonna be great. A little bit clearer, that is. Uh, I think this is too shallow to test out for you guys, yeah. Way too shallow. I don't want to get outside of the bubble right here, but yeah, once we go underwater, we should be able to see a little bit clearer. Not quite as clear like as above ground, but you know, it's not going to be super duper blurry or anything like that. Like uh, if we're not wearing these goggles, that's going to be good. Uh, we don't have flippers on, so we're not going to move quite as fast underwater. We don't have the oxygen tank, so we're still susceptible to heck and drowning and stuff like that, right? So we're going to worry about that. Oh, oh. Okay. Teleporting always makes me a bit dizzy. Oh, God. Helen Gore is that thing. It's huge right here. Sheesh. But yeah, now, I don't think it really matters where we are. I, I guess we could just go underwater in general to hopefully find some silica pearls and let go. Oh god, we fell off the cliff. Whoops, I guess we're going down. Oh, there we go. Ooh, but yeah, look at this. Look at how clear it is down here now. See, like, has some stuff down here. Oh god, eel. Okay, if I find an eel, I'm going I'm to heck and kill that thing. Oh, here's an oxygen bubble or something, I think, right? Oh, is it go? Oh, I think, yep, there it is right there. Okay, if it comes over here, I'm going to kill it. There we go, we killed it. Electro Forest. That's good, we killed it right there, nice. Still doing well in oxygen. I don't want to go down here to, to oxygen bubble, see if, what's this do? Oh wait. It filled up my oxygen, but at the same time I have, oh, I went inside the bubble and now I'm going up to, that's clever. I don't think we noticed that last time when we were in the ocean biome, you guys. And then yeah, a little popping noise once we get to the top. Huh, okay, so if I'm in danger, I just need to come over here to one of these bubbles, it'll immediately fill up my oxygen, I'll be good to go, and it'll take me up to the surface. And, uh, you know, hopefully take me away from dan- I guess take me away from danger as well as prevent me from drowning, so that's good to know. Nice. But yeah, now I have to look for little clams here at the bottom of the ocean. And hopefully I can find some, because if I can't, I don't want to waste my time over here, right, golly? <laughs> but yeah, I just need to find those little clams, those will give us silica pearls. And we'd use those silica pearls to make a heckin' spino saddle, so that'd be really good, but... The trick is just finding them in general, and I, like I said earlier, the, the resource map that I at least looked at didn't say there were any silica pearls on the entire heckin' Genesis Part 1 map. So, hopefully I'm proven wrong, or that thing's proven wrong. What's this over here, though? Can I harvest this? Or kill it, or, like, is this brain coral or something? Oh god, I guess... Okay, I gave a stone right there. What about, what about if I get it, uh, can I get flint? Oh, I got flint right there, nice. Alright. Carbonum is down there. What are the, oh, I guess for a little comparison real quick, let's see what it looks like with and without the goggles. Oh, is it basically the same? Did it, did they not do anything with that? Hold on, let me put the tools and stuff up. This looks basically the same. Uh, kind of wiggly. Yeah, still kind of wiggly. I don't think they changed. Oh, is this? Ooh, are these silk pearls? <gasps> yes! Oh, no. Well, well, I guess they changed things because these are giant heckin' clams, you guys. Nice. Well, even more of them over there. But yeah, we're doing really well in oxygen. I guess. What is the point of the goggles then? I thought they made it clearer, but I guess it doesn't matter. Or not, I have no idea. But I'm going to grab all the silica rows over here, you know, just in case we need them for anything else. And uh, I'm not seeing any emergency bubbles over here, so if we're in an emergency situation, I need to watch the heck out. But, uh, a lot of, uh,. So the girls over here to the left. I feel like I'm playing Subnautica right now, you guys. Can't wait for Below Zero to actually officially come out. Then, of course, I'll start that series back up because I, I, I know recently I've been getting a lot of comments from you guys saying, hey, why don't you play Subnautica Below, below Zero some more? But uh, I tried to give it a shot, you know, while it's in early access, while it's in beta and all that kind of stuff, but I, I just didn't want to... Oh, is that... Oh, I thought those were bubbles down there. I just didn't want to, you know, put it with, like, it being in early access, you know, get constantly getting updates over and over again and basically not really adding too much content for specific updates and just being bug fixes for certain updates and uh you know returning not really doing too much so i'm just going to wait just like i did with the official regular subnautica i'm going to wait for the official release of subnautica below zero before i actually play it but for right now uh we're just going to be waiting until that actually happens and there is a giant heckin turtle guy i want to see yes okay so mega kelon me mega kelon that's what this guy's called. We have a saddle for him already. I was, like, kind of wondering, is that what that giant turtle critter was earlier? Tame him with, uh, just, oh, wait, you can tame him with either berries or meat, so that's cool. Or giant bee honey down there, which, 
who knows where I can heck and find that, golly. But yeah, we're doing well in oxygen still. How many silver bottles do I pick up there? 388. Really good number. I like that. That might actually be good enough for quite a while, you guys. Emergency bubble right there. That's good. Uh, oh, well, if you guys are wondering, hey, where do you find those silk pearls? Oh, I've got my XYZ, or my la latitude longitude on the screen right now, so uh, I guess I'll keep that on the screen. I don't know if I mentioned it yet, but yeah, I asked you guys a while ago, hey, should I keep the GPS on the screen at all times? And you guys were like, yeah, sure, why not? It, it doesn't really impede on the actual gameplay too much, and it's very helpful, so that's good. Especially if I find somewhere that's really, really interesting and I don't want to look at the GPS, I can just literally watch my own heckin' footage. Oh, even more clams over here, nice. Although it is getting really deep, and I don't know if there are any uh, emergency bubbles over here. It's going to be really risky to get these, but I suppose I'll grab them. But, uh, yeah, if I, if I find somewhere interesting and I don't really, you know, mark it on the map or anything like that, I can always just literally watch my own footage, look at the top left corner and see the latitude longitude. Uh, similar to what happened with the, uh, the Spino. Because, of course, you guys remember, I, I, I looked at the X... Oh, God, I keep saying that. It's like I'm playing Minecraft or something like that. <laughs> I looked at the latitude, longitude, and I was like, okay, this is where the Spino is. I'm going to go home, I'm going to grab narcotics, and boom. Found my way back, no problem, because I memorized what the, uh, the latitude and longitude was. So that's really good. I pretty much never use the compass or the, uh, the GPS when I actually have one. I think I actually do have one. Never mind, I don't have one in this series. <laughs> but yeah, I pretty much never use it unless, like, I have to. And then by then, it's usually too late, right? So, glad that- Oh, emergency bubble right there. Nice. Let's go to it. Uh, we're still really, really well in oxygen right now, so... Uh, maybe I'll just keep this in mind and grab even more, uh... I don't see any more clams over here, though. What if I get these giant, like, coral things? Or giant kelp thing? Can I harvest this kelp? I don't know if I can. Yeah, I'm trying right now. Nothing's happened. Oh, yeah, oh, here, yeah, I am harvesting the kelp. I'm getting... <laughs> I'm getting fiber, I'm getting berry. Oh god. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Megalodon. Megalodon attacking us. Big oh, oh god, two megalodons. 600 health each. How much health does that one have? We we're doing 100 246 damage to this one. Single digit uh level. So not really the biggest threat in the universe. But remember, we do have an emergency bubble somewhere to like basically heck and escape us out of here. I don't know where it is though. I saw it a moment ago, and I was like, oh man, I might not even Oh, there it is right there. There it is. Let's let's go over to it. How fast is it even going to take us out of here? I don't know. Oh, I don't even know what Thanos looks like whenever he's, uh... There he is. He's wearing the heckin' scuba goggles right there. He looks stupid. <laughs> I, need, I need to make it like... Oh, wait. Is this even... Is this going to take us to the surface still? Or what? Or is it just going to bump into that and that's going to be the end of that? I'm like, if anything, at least we're getting replenished on oxygen. I could probably just daisy chain these bubbles together. There's another bubble over there. Is this going to pop or what? I guess, I guess I could pop it myself by attacking the bubble right there, so that's cool. So I guess I go from one to- <gasps> Well, here's a Bazillosaurus. We can kill this thing and it'll give us a ton of oil, so... Remember, we were we were needing some oil a little while. 3.8k health? We're going to be beating on this thing for quite a while until it heckin' dies, but once it does die... Oh, man. I, I was thinking, like, should I try and tame it, but... We're probably not going to come to the ocean biome for quite a while, you guys, so... There we go. A bazo oh, 200, 370 oil. Nice. Got a ton of oil right there. That's great. Yeah, I completely forgot that you can get uh, oil from the Bazillosaurus, you guys. So that's good to know that if we do need oil, we don't need to go to, like, to an oil, like, reserve or anything like that or, or find random oil rocks at the bottom of the ocean. We just kill a heckin' Bazillosaurus and then, boom, give us, like, 300 heckin' oil right there. That's great. All right, let's see. Here it is right here. Another bubble. It's going to tr just transport us to the heckin' top. Although I... I might be able to just go to Helena. I can't reach her right now while I'm in the bubble, but yeah, I probably could just teleport if I could reach Helena while underwater. I wonder if I could do that as like an emergency situation. Sort of meme. Just kind of get us out if I'm basically getting attacked by something and I can't do anything about it, right? But, well, speaking of Helena, here we go. Old for, oh, there it is right there. Biome, oh God. Biome teleportation. Let's go to the bog. And let's go to, oh, I didn't even place down the, uh, oh God, I'm getting attacked right now. What? By another Megalodon. Man, I was trying to heckin' teleport. And I was also talking about how I didn't place down the, uh, heckin' thing. Did I even bring it? Uh, oh yeah, I did. Oh, I have a level up as well. Oh god. This thing's kinda big. Yeah, you see there's like... This place right there. There you go. See what this thing even looks like. Wait, is it even bigger? Yeah, I think it's even bigger now. It's singing right there. But yeah, there's like, what look like flotation devices inside of here. I don't know what that is, actually. Oh, I can just pick it up no problem. Okay, yeah, because there's that... Like vanilla cooldown, you can pick it up no problem. But uh, oh, there's ladders in here. Ooh, here we go. Go up the ladder, and hey, look at look at this. This is pretty big right here. And I guess we can swim something to the top here. Pick up the ocean platform. There it is, right there. Okay, we got it. That nice. 
All right, so we got that time, no problemo. I can Megalodon over there. Hopefully, uh, I don't know if I can go any. I guess I'll go to this over here. Probably going to be the next best thing. Uh, just to at least get away from the Megalodon so I can teleport out of here safely, right? I do have a level up. I could probably get rid of the uh, get rid of this. I'm like, it didn't really change anything, did it? So there you go. I don't think it really matters. Yeah, let's talk to Helena. Let's try and heck and tell. Oh God, Megalodon right in my heck and face reveal. Oh my gosh. At least I can kill this thing pretty easily if I can actually get a hit on it. There it is. There it is. One more hit and it's dead. There it goes. Dead. Nice. All right, let's talk to Helena. And, uh, oh yeah, we can get, like, Megalodon teeth and stuff like that and use that for, like, boss battles, I think. I don't know. Why is Helena? What are you doing? Here we go. Bio teleportation. Let's go. What? Wait, what happened right there? Can I not teleport when I'm in the water? There you go. Uh, what was it? Northeast? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, there you go. All right, so if I'm at the top of here... Am I still in the teleportation bubble? I think I am, yeah. Maybe. Uh... I think I'm, like, at the very, like, tippity top. Like, I, I need to be careful. I'm just gonna stay over here, though. Coelacanths, I wonder if they get, I wonder if they get teleported with me. If I were gonna have random coelacanths just, like, dying. Uh, let's grab the Megalodon teeth. Ooh, if they're just gonna, like, teleport to the heckin' bog and be completely out of oxygen and just heckin' die. I doubt that, though. I, I bet it only transports, uh, tamed critters rather than, like, wild critters. I guess you could abuse that if you just teleport, like, next to something. Coordinates confirmed. Teleport complete. Uh... Are we super far away? Is that the landmark thing? I think it is. Yep, there's our base over there. I can see the basketball courts. Nice. All right, nice. I'm being targeted by an insect swarm. When am I not? Jeez. Here you go. Let's get rid of that trash. But yeah, look at that. Found our way back home. No problem. We got a bunch of oil. Got a bunch of silk pearls. I think that was a pretty good mission right there, you guys. Mission success. So anyways, let's go back to the base. Let's find... Oh, wait. What? Wait, hold on. What happened to all of our stuff? Uh... Hold on. Did... Did I teleport with my... Cr did, they, did they teleport with me? I hope not. If they did, then they must have gone to the ocean biome... Like, south or whatever we teleported to, right? Where are all my critters at? Uh, I guess we're going to have to... Hold on, let's go, let's go biome teleportation. Let's go to Bog Easy. Or, no, 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 not Bog Easy. Let's go to... Uh, biome teleportation, ocean hard. South, I think, right? I think that's where we went. Did we accidentally, like, we were too close to all of our critters? I thought I purposely went away uh, to make sure that no one was inside the heckin' bubble there, but maybe someone got teleported or something like that? I have no idea. Or maybe someone was attacking the base and lured a bunch of our critters away? I don't know. Well, I'm like, I guess this is a pretty big heckin' bubble here. Uh, it, I guess it makes sense if the heckin' got trapped inside the bubble, but... Uh, oh, well, the bubble's about to, just to close up there, so we're going to get teleported. I guess we'll find out if they're actually in the ocean bottom right now, but... Yeah, at least we spawned on top of an island, so if they are over here, we should be able to tell them more back easy piece of no problem. Always makes me a bit oh. dizzy. Yeah, look at that. They got teleported with me, huh? So yeah, we've got our parasaur, we got our level 103 spinos, even Spec Ops Yayap, if I'm even remotely pronouncing that correctly. Is there anyone else over here? What about our other spino? Ninja. Where's he at? X Parasaur. Fall off the thing or something? Uh I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna let everyone follow me, I think. Oh, is that, is that salt? <gasps> I think it is. Let's get ourselves some salt. I do need some salt. So there we go. We can use that for preserving stuff in our inventory. Yeah, there's our parasaur. There's that big turtle critter. I don't know if it... I, I don't know where Ninja went, you guys. I think we lost him. Uh, man. I hope we didn't. I'm like, at least I could see. Yeah, hey, well, there's our new x spider. There's our old x parasaur we've had for a little while. And even our uh, Dilophosaurus, Spec Ops, yeah, yeah. And of course, our Dimorphodon has been on our shoulder for a little while. Was there anyone else that was tamed to us? I don't think so. Uh, other than, of course, Ninja, which is heckin' missing. I don't know how we lost track of a gigantic heckin' Spino. <laughs> right? How do we lose track? Oh, another uh, salt right there, nice. How do we lose track of a giant heckin' Spino? If we even did. Because he wasn't at the base. Hella Gornet right there. Yeah, I was- Oh god, we fell again! Wait, hold on. Can I make it up here? <gasps> hold on. Do I have the climb picks? Oh, I do. Nice. I still have the climb pick. Nice. So we can get up. Woo! Look at this. Oh, I guess this is one way we could have gotten up. Uh, well, we didn't have the climb picks back then, right? Yeah. But yeah, if we, if we want to go from the heckin' bottom of the heckin' sea level up to these, like, mountains up here, or whatever you want to call these, and yeah, we can just climb pick our way up. But yeah. X-Spino. X-Parasaur. I don't know where it's... It, it's at. It, 
it's gone. I I actually don't know where our uh, ninja the spino is. You guys, he uh, <laughs> just like a ninja. I guess he just poofed into thin air, right? Sheesh. Took his name a little bit too literally again. Yeah, I I don't know where our uh, ninja one is. Maybe he is back at the base. Maybe he didn't get. Uh, he wasn't close enough to get uh, teleported over here. I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully one following us through all the hack and stuff. I I would have noticed if he was right. Sheesh. But yeah, let me let me just get everyone to follow. So follow Thanos, Paris War, and Spec Ops, Yeah Yap, Dilo, X Spino, come over here. And uh hopefully everyone's gonna be inside for teleportation. Oh wait. Oh yep, that's our Dilo right there, nice. So we're all pretty much like right next to each other right now. I should be able to talk to Helena, teleport back to the base, and uh maybe we'll find our there it is right there. Maybe we'll find our ninja right at the base, so northeast, I think it was. The yes. There you go. Let's not move. Because everyone I think should be inside of the bubble. Or at least partially inside of the bubble, so they're technically still going to be teleported, so... Let's just not move. Everyone's still set to follow me. And, uh, I just don't know where this heckin' ninja went. Like, <laughs> we spent so much time trying to tame that one, and then... It's like gone now. Again! Uh, hopefully it finds its way back home, right? Golly. Teleport! Now! There we go, we're getting teleported, so that's good. But... Is it... is it back home here? I don't know. I guess we'll find out here in just a moment. Oh! Hornets confirmed! There you go, so, like Spino, there's Dilo, there's our Parasaur. I do not know, you guys, but at least these guys are still following me, which is great. They didn't die, as far as I know, so... Maybe I'll, maybe I'll use the Pet Finder over here and see if it, it'll, it'll lead us to the other Spino Ninja? I... maybe. I guess we'll see here in just a moment. I'm like, it's so like a huge, I shouldn't be able to miss it, right? But then again, that's how I lost it while trying to tame it in the first place, right? Jeez. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys, I found him. He was below us. We were at the top of the heckin' mountain right there. I fell accidentally, and he was down here. So, golly, at least we found Ninja over here. Sheesh. Oh man, I'm hungry right there. When did that happen? Anyways, whoo, we found him, you guys. Hopefully we didn't forget anyone, but uh, let's see. What do I want to do for this level up right here? I have to eat even more, golly. There we go. Yeah, I guess we'll do some melee damage. There we go. Is that going to be 275? It is, 275% melee damage. Noise. All right, well, let's go back. Hell no, let's go back to the... Oh, let's get 300. Uh, there you go, hexagons, nice. And let's go back to the bog, northeast, with our ninja. All right, nice. So that should be all of our careers, I think. And I'm hearing what sounds like a Mesopithecus, the other shoulder-mounted career that's like a heckin' monkey that throws feces at creatures. <laughs> so that might, get, that might be pretty cool to have here in the future, but... <gasps> there it is right there. You guys see the tail? Where was it? There it is. Right yep, level five, Mesopithecus. Look at that little guy. Oh, God, I almost punched it. <laughs> Jeez! Alright, well we should be tell yep, we're about to teleport here in just a moment, so we'll stay by our, uh, Spino and- Teleport activated! Nice. And, uh, well that's gonna be the rescue for him, so that's gonna be great, you guys, nice. But yeah, hopefully I find another Iguadon, or maybe tame like a Baryonyx or something like that to- to replace- Coordinates confirmed! Teleport complete! A nice ground mount that we used to have before the Iguadon got heckin' killed, right? Sheesh. But yeah, look at that, we finally got our, uh, heckin' Spino back right there. Guess I got my Spino back. Wop 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 wop. So now, let's head back to the base, let's finally make the heckin' Spino saddle that I wanted to make for who knows how long, but we have to do this and then that, and finally get all the ingredients together to finally I can make the Spino saddle, but now we can finally do it! Because we've got the Celica Pearls, we even have a little bit of oil for some other random trash, and uh, there you go, unfollow. And uh, now all we really need to do is just go over here to the smithy, throw all the ingredients inside, and uh, 587 uh, Celica Pearls, nice. Alright, let me put them up over here at the resources chest so everything's kind of centralized there. And we won't have any trouble finding him if I ever need him, right? There you go, nice. And uh, let's try and make the Spino Saddle over here. So I guess for right now, we'll just make one, and then uh, we could upgrade it pretty well. So, uh, wait, oh, saddles. I don't know why I went to armor right there. Jeez. Very nice saddle right there. Yeah, we can make that, but we don't have one tamed yet, so I'm not going to make another one. Or, or one in general. So let's just make the Spino Saddle, and then let's head over to the upgrade station, see if we can actually upgrade this thing to be a little bit better. It's, of course, going to require silic pearls as well as any other materials that it required to uh, craft the saddle in the first place, so let's see, attempt upgrade. 42 silica pearls and 75 cement paste, so we should be able to do that. We might have cement paste over here. Yeah, we have a little bit right there, but not quite enough, so let me try and make like 25 right there. Let's try and make 25 in each one over here, and uh, hopefully it's going to make them easily fast. And we're going to have 100 here in just a moment. But uh, yeah, having four of these mortar and pestles makes us four times faster to make all the uh, silica pearls that I want to make, and unfortunately, I'm not able to make any more. But uh, yeah, I only need to make uh, 75, which we should be able to make here in just a moment. All right, just have to wait for these to be nice and done crafting, and we'll be good to go. So yeah, we should be able to upgrade it at least once, as long as it doesn't fail, knock on wood. But uh, what else do we need for it? 
Uh, just 42 Silver Pearls. Yeah, we have like 500 right there. Spent a little bit to make it, but, uh... 562. Do we... How many do we need to even make it? Oh, yeah, like 25 or something like that, right? So, yeah. Uh, 60, that's gonna be more than enough. Let's put that over here. There we go. I never made the, uh... What is it called? The Augmentation Station, did I? At least in this series. So, there you go. Augmentation Station. Oh, A plus Slaughterhouse. A stable where you can breed and slaughter animals to obtain chitin, keratin, and hide. Ooh. Two dinosaur eggs. 60 fiber, metal hatchet, 50 thatch, 70, that's interesting. Huh. Where you can breed and slaughter animals to obtain chitin, keratin, and hide. That seems really good, you guys. I don't know why I didn't make that any sooner. I didn't even know it existed. That's why. So, <laughs> there you go. Let's put all the, uh, the cement and that we currently have right there. Let's put that up right there. And then maybe uh, we can actually breed something like, I don't know, like a... I don't know if we can tame anything that really drops chitin on a regular basis to basically, like, automate it and stuff like that, you know, to have an actual farm. But if I needed a bunch of hide, uh, of course, we could just probably just, like, tame, like, parasols or something like that and breed them at the slaughterhouse. But, yeah, we already have a ton of hide. We don't need to worry about that. But I, I guess right now we can make the augmentation station add-on for the upgrade station. So, there we go. And where's that slaughterhouse? There it is right there. Two dinosaur eggs. Should be able to make everything else right there. I think we might have the two dinosaur eggs. We might have, like, one. I know we have at least one dilo egg. I don't know if we have two. So, eggs. Yeah, we only have one, so yeah, we can't make the slaughterhouse, unfortunately. Uh, so, I'm like, we do have female spinos. If they randomly lay an egg, hopefully I can catch it and use that to actually craft the slaughterhouse. But, right now, let's just wait for the cement paste over here to be nice and finished. And, uh, be able to hopefully craft, or upgrade, the spino saddle. So, there you go, that's going to be all of our cement paste right there. 81 right there, we should have enough. There you go, successfully upgraded right there. Nice, equip a spino with this 56.3 armor rating? Yep, 56.3 armor rating, nice. I think it was 25 baseline, right? So it more than doubled. Let me check it again. Spino. Is it, uh, yeah, it was 25 baseline. So it more than doubled right there, you guys. Really, really nice. Let's give it to our higher level Spino, level 103 right here. There it is right there. 12, uh, Rop right main right there. Three levels just right off the bat. The best thing it currently has is health at, uh, 27. So really good baseline right there. And melee damage is okay at 10. It's like the lowest thing that actually matters. So that sucks. Uh, so yeah, I guess it's really good on health, so let's get it up to like almost 5,000, and melee damage, oh, carry weight's not really that good, what, what's the carry weight baseline? Is that 15? It's alright, it's like kind of medium, so maybe I'll give it a, a carry weight right there, up to almost 500 pounds right there, so it's going to be rivaling our parasaur, so that's going to be great, wait, what in the world, what happened to its saddle? Oh, it has a saddle right now, why was I unable to ride it right there? There we go, I could ride right there. I don't know why I wasn't able to ride right there, you guys. Anyways, let me kill this peck of Rhinosaurus. 152 damage. 152 damage. Not bad. And I can actually harvest the dead flesh with it, too. Nice. So, with the Spino, you can go in bipedal mode and uh, quadruped mode just like the Iguanodon, so that's awesome. Uh, I forget what the what what the difference is between it is for the Spinos, if it's basically the same, where it's like unlimited stamina. No, it's still taking stamina in quadruped mode, so unlike the Iguana, I guess I'll look it up real quick, but... Yeah, if we take this guy to the ocean biome, he's going to have his hydrated buff all the time, so he's going to be, like, basically unstoppable, so... Let me look this up real quick, and, uh, figure out what the difference is between the quadruped and bipedal mode here. Bipedal movement grants increased attack damage that can be delivered while running, and the ability to turn in place. Quadrupedal movement grants increased movement speed. Okay, so we're just faster if we're in quadruped mode, and we deal more damage if we're in uh, bipedal mode. Similar to the iguana, but, you know, we still take stamina, so that sucks. And it's able to turn while in uh, bipedal mode, so that's cool. While in quadruped mode, yeah, you can't actually turn. You're, you're, you're just standing still, so that's cool. And, of course, this guy's pretty big, so you can't really see it too well. But, uh, let's try and turn. So yeah, look at that, that's really cool. I think that was a... Was that a TLC update that they did that? I think they did. I don't think it was like that, like, from the start. So that's really cool, you guys. We only had a Spino for quite a while. Raptor's over here attacking, so let's, let's, let's fight him in... There it is, quadruped mode, 45 and 61. 91, 68. See, so yeah, we are doing more damage, yeah, 91, 68. So that's good. Look at that. Nice. Alright, and of course we're, we're like, slashing with our claws while in uh, quadruped mode. We're, uh, yeah, talking with our, with our, uh, with our jaw right there, so that's cool, so let's go to, yep, and it's hard to, there you go, yeah, you can see, swiping with the claws, doing even more damage, and in quadruped mode, using our, uh, mouth to attack, so that's cool. Alright, so definitely want to use the, uh, the Spino to, to use different, like, attacks in, in quadrupedal mode and, and bipedal mode for 
you know, whenever we need to use them, but for right now, we have increased movement speed in quadruped mode, so if I'm just running around right, like right now, I guess I would go in quadruped. Oh, that's poisonous gas over there. I definitely want to stay away from that. And of course, in the top right corner, you can see right there, hydrated. Your dino speed, health, regeneration, and damage are boosted, so that's awesome, you guys. Nice. So, definitely want to stay in the water, you know, every now and then. It lasts how long? 20 seconds or 30 seconds? And of course, when we're in the water, it's on all the time, so that's awesome. So, that's what- oh god! Oh yeah, I forget that this guy like destroys stuff if he uh, if he runs into it and steps on it. And I think he deals damage if he steps on a creature, so that's cool. But yeah, for right now, uh, oh, is that a- oh, that was a tree trunk. I thought that was a raptor trying to attack me or something crazy. Jeez. So we get such dialer right down here, which we'll uh, try to attack him with. Oh, two, 263 damage right there, jeez. I guess whatever we were killing earlier had a little bit better armor than that, sheesh. And a catcher source over here, of course, will take a little bit of damage. Parasaur over here. So we have three, two, one, and El Rouse down right now, unfortunately. But kind of want to see how much damage we do in bipedal mode without the hydrated buff. 91 damage right there. And let's go get let's go get hydrated. And then let's get the hydrated buff. And then attack the same parasaur. So yeah, now we have the hydrated buff. Let's go catch up to the parasaur. Even though we're in bipedal mode, we can still catch up with this guy. Holy heck. I'm like, here with the hydrated buff, 105, so it went up a little bit. It was, what, 91 just a moment ago? And 105, so it's not anything, it's not like it doubles the damage or anything like that, but it, it goes up a little bit. Very marginal amount of, uh, buff right there, but I guess you can't really complain about it too much, because you're doing more damage in general by just being wet. Pfft. Uh, 1.4, oh my god, this is a really good Parasaur, I didn't even notice. Level 195? Holy heck, you guys. I don't have the stuff to tame, and I'll, I, I might have some berries. Yeah, like, basically no berries, so. Golly, that'd be a really good tame, you guys. Although, a Parasaur, the only thing I'd use that for is just collecting berries, but we already have tons of berries as is. I don't know if we could find one of those Bloodstalkers just out in the open. Like, you guys saw during the mission, we know what it looks like now, so, uh, you know what, I might as well regen the uh, stamina, because we're just sitting here doing nothing, you guys. And it looks like the, uh, the Raptor, is it going to come over here? What is it going to do? Level 39. 400 health. Should be able to kill that thing relatively easily. So, uh, we're in bipedal mode doing 91 damage. If we were, uh... Oh, we, if we go over there to the water and get a little bit wet, we do a little bit more. Here we are. Oh, is this not water? I guess this is water over here. Oh, I just killed... Yeah, see, look at that. I just killed a lava source right there with, with just stepping on it. So, <laughs> oh, I guess if anything, yeah, maybe we can, uh... I guess get dung beetles, tame them, breed them, and... Set him up with the slaughterhouse to constantly get chitin from, I guess. I guess that's one creature we can get a bunch of chitin from. Completely forgot about the dung beetle, you guys. Anyways, yeah, the Expiner does have a level, two level ups, actually, so. Uh, maybe we'll get a little bit of stamina, because we we're kind of low there, so let's get a couple staminas. So that's good. And uh, let's make sure we don't like, die from the second thing right here. Jeez. But yeah. Let's go. Should I kill these guys over here or what? I don't know. I kind of want to. <laughs> I'm like, might as well. Let's go to Bipedal mode, 91 damage. How much health does this one have? Oh, it's level 5, so it only has 204 health. Nice. Let's kill these heckin' Paras Pararhinos horses. There you go. Kill this one over here, too. Even though we're not even buffed. There we go. Look at that. 153 damage to this guy. So it seems like the Parasaur. And this one's even, like, low level 229. Even less armor rating. Nice. And that uh, catch horse over there. And this is the World Border. Yep, World Border right there, so that sucks. Man. Alright, well, whatever. Not that big of a deal. Uh, so if that's a world border, we must be relatively close to our base. I don't know exactly where we are in relation to our base, though. I could always enable the Dota Ball thing. Was oh, that it back there? I think it might be. It's hard to tell because it's in the fu Oh, it is! Yeah, look at that basketball hoops right there, you guys. Nice. Alright. Can I zoom in with this? Oh, I can't. Oh, wait, what in the world? Oh, yeah, that's switching between uh, Bipedal and Quadruped Road, right? Yeah. Forgot about that. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, let's head back to the base, and I guess just kind of settle down now that we finally have a heckin' Spino both tamed and saddled up. So that's awesome, you guys. And I guess we'll figure out what mission we're going to be doing next. Because we've done a lot of missions in the bog already. I I'm kind of curious which ones we haven't done yet. I know there's a scavenger hunt that we could do. I don't think we've done that one. Oh, God. Well, I guess it's, oh, it's eating out of the feeding trough. Nice. How's this doing, though? Okay, 73 uh, food right there. I do know we need to make a, uh, what is it called? A vessel. Uh, oh, I can make the S-plus version of it, can I? Uh, I don't know, but I can make the A-plus version of it. Raw meat has spa uh, fast spoiling time, but meat spoiled and preserving salt lasts longer. What? I don't know what that even means. But yeah, you're supposed to put, like, raw salt, or preserving salt, inside the vessel, and that makes it uh, last longer, even though it is heckin' salt, but at the same time, it does have a spoil thing, just kind of bounce it out, I guess, right? But I can't make a vessel, unfortunately, so that sucks. 
to make raw salt, I think you make that the mortar and pestle were at a uh, chemistry station, right? I think I need to unlock the, uh, or, uh, preserving salts, that's what it's called. Oh yeah, I can't even unlock it because it's on scorched earth, so that sucks. Man, I guess I have to install that one mod that unlocks all the anger from all the DLCs. I forgot what that was, I'm, I'm literally going to go watch my own video and look at the video description. Because <laughs> I list all the mods down there, so I'm going to have to figure out which one that was. Hopefully it still works. But anyways, right now I guess we're just going to figure out what mission we're going to be doing next. So let's go over to the mission list. And of course we've been doing Gamma for each one, so... So we, oh yeah, but yeah, that one right here, that's the scavenger hunt I just talked about right there, yeah. On the hidden points, yeah, we should be able to do that one pretty easily. How do we get something like an iguana for that, maybe? Just so we're able to move around a little bit quicker, but then again, the spino on quadruped mode moves around relatively, I can quickly. Just runs out of stamina pretty quickly, too, so that sucks. Uh, along came pollen, which one's that one again? Track down the high-quality pollen while avoiding the toxic pollen and defending yourself from territorial creatures. I don't exactly know what that means. I guess it's similar to the scavenger hunt, maybe? I don't know. And then uh, another race over here, Mount Blood... Oh, Mount a Bloodstalker and race through the swamp. So, similar to the uh, to the one crocodile creature I can't think of the name of right now, golly. But, uh, yeah, I remember we just did a race with a, a crocodile-type creature. I guess this is going to be another one, but we're going to be on a Bloodstalker, bog fishing, net as many fish as you can in the shallow waters of the bog, no license, no limits. Of course, we did this one already. Bog beatdowns, that one, uh, a swarm of insects will try to overwhelm you in sheer numbers, squish them good. That one seems easy enough, but of course it sounds like they like clear your inventory and they give you tools that you have to use, maybe. So I guess I can't use any like really good upgrade uh, weapons against that, unfortunately. Spy versus Spino. A brute Spino is on the prime. So it sounds like this one, similar to the Bloodstalker one, similar to the brute Raptor one, where we have to like chase its footprints and then eventually find it. So that might be really good to, you know, just ride our Spino and try and fight it. Spino by versus Spino, right? And then Swamp Placid. A brute Sarko is on the prowl. So another one right there where we have to find its footprints and all that kind of stuff. So a little bit of repetitive stuff here, unfortunately, but I guess it's kind of to be expected, right? But I guess we'll do that a little bit later because for right now, kind of want to end the episode because I've recorded like a ton of heckin' footage. I need to edit these and upload them for you guys. Jeez. So anyways, we got a lot of really good progress done, so I think this is going to be a really good place to leave off until next episode. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. That'll put my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. Because next time we come back with Arc Genesis, we're going to be completing even more of those missions that we just listed off. Seems like they're easy enough, especially now that we have like Spino Tame level over level 100. So we're going to be doing those pretty easily. And then, of course, once we do the Gamma for each mission, we're going to be moving over to the Arctic biome to keep things nice and fresh and probably start from scratch over there. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about that, you know. Uh, basically starting from scratch every time we move to a new biome. Because uh, that, that sounds like it's going to be, you know, at least make things interesting. I guess the only thing I'll have when we move from one biome to the other is just the clothes on my back and whatever tools I have in my inventory. So we're not going to be starting from complete scratch, but, you know, we're going to have to start up a new base and tame new creatures once we get to the new biomes and stuff. And that'll at least, at least kind of mix up the gameplay and stuff like that. But uh, of course, if I ever need like a really good critter like a Hank and Spino, I can always just come back to the bog and grab it, right? But either way, we'll worry about that next episode or two or three or whatever when that time comes. But for right now, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next time with some more Arc Genesis. Oh, bye there. Oh, I guess I could wave with my Spino too, huh? Oh, bye there. That's me waving. That's not me attacking you guys. That's me waving. <laughs>